Hey guys, it's Ashley with Westcott, and today we're going to be explaining freeze mode with the FJ400. So when working in a studio, a flash duration of 1 2 80th is more than enough to freeze your subject. But sometimes you want to shoot something that's a little bit faster moving, like a spinning dancer or like a burst of powder, or in this case, you're going to be photographing splashing water. You're going to need a faster flash duration. So you may be wondering what exactly is flash duration. Flash duration, which often gets computer shutter speed, is the amount of time your light is actually emitting light. Shutter speed, on the other hand, is the amount of time your camera shutter is open. There are actually many ways you can shorten your flash duration. The most common is actually lowering the power of your strobe. The less power your strobe needs to fire, the shorter the flash duration. This is a great thing to know, but a lot of times it's not fast enough to get those super fast moving subjects like we're gonna be doing today. Today I'm gonna to be showing you an even better way to freeze motion with the FJ400's freeze mode. So when shooting with the strobe in normal mode, the light output actually peaks very quickly and then it'll trail off. This allows for a lot of time for excess light to get motion blur with super fast moving subjects. The FJ400 freeze mode actually works by cutting off the output as soon as it has peaked. If you look at the graph, you can actually see it looks like a sharp cut in output. This allows for any super fast motion to be frozen. Now that you kind of understand flash duration in freeze mode, I wanna go into my lighting setup. For this shoot, I brought in two FJ400s. For my main light, I modified it by an Octa M. I wanted to keep the light in her face very soft, but still have very hard shadows, so I wanted like a medium-sized octabox. So for my second light, I wanted to add a rim light to my subject, not only to separate her from the backdrop, but really light up those water droplets. For this, I used the FJ400 with the included reflector, and I gelled it blue. That way, the water would light up and kind of give a sense of atmosphere. So since I wanted to freeze each individual water droplet, I knew my settings for my strobe had to be at least 1 8,000th T0.5 of a second, since I lowered the output of the strobe, I had to adjust my camera settings in order to compensate. So my camera settings actually end up being 1 200th of a second, F11 at 1250th ISO. One of the downsides of using a super quick flash duration is that you're gonna lose a lot of power. For this, I did not want to compromise with my f-stop since I wanted each individual water droplet to be in focus, so I stuck at f11, and I changed my ISO to 1250th, knowing my camera could handle that. Another compromise you have to make is with your color accuracy. When using freeze mode, your colors will actually shift a little bit towards blue since you're cutting off the output, but this is easily fixable in post. So a little quick tip when using freeze mode is you wanna make sure all your ambient light is as low as possible. Since the end of the output is only ambient light, it can really cause motion blur if you have too much of it. So it's a really a technique usually used in studio. So what are some creative ways you guys would use freeze mode? Let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching.